uh, I will talk about the uh, confining concrete columns made with uh, eco-friendly UHPC. This is a research developed uh, uh, in collaboration with the Tohoku University of uh, uh, Sendai. Uh, here you have the outline of my presentation. I will start with the motivation of our work and uh, I will talk about the substitution strategy applied to UHPC. In practice, we would like to reduce the uh, environmental impact of UHPC by substituting part of, of cement, a large part of cement with fly ash. Then we use this uh, more environmental friendly uh, UHPC by confining concrete cores. Uh, I will show you some tests uh, and results of the of the test and some and let's say uh, a procedure to uh, use this uh, new UHPC. Uh, and then I will draw some conclusion. So. <clears throat> Uh, as you well know, uh, the uh, UHPC uh, has very uh, high performances, uh, both in tension and in compression, and these performances uh, are coming from the lower water binder ratio with respect to traditional uh, concrete and due to uh, a dense microstructure. However, the environmental impact of UHPC is, uh, is, is relevant uh, because we are using, in general, uh, a large quantity of cement and also uh, a large quantity uh, of fibers. So, uh, more or less, the impact of U the traditional UHPC is four times uh, larger than the impact of uh, normal concrete. So <clears throat> our idea uh, is to uh, reduce the content of cement uh, and uh, tailor a new UHPC with a content of cement uh, similar to the concrete to the uh, the content that we have in ordinary concrete and by substituting part of this cement with 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 fly ash so uh, we have to reduce the content of cement uh, and uh, we introduce about uh, 70 percent of the binder made with fly with, with fly ash so in other words according to meta and monteiro we are introducing high volume fly ash UHP UHPC. So these are the four uh, series of UHPC we analyzed. Uh, FA0 is the reference UHPC. In this case, we don't have any uh, content of fly ash. On the contrary, you have uh, silica fume, uh, silica sand, also wollastonite, water, superplasticizer, and deforming, uh, deforming agent. Uh, in this uh, UHPC, we have 1% in volume of uh, steel fibers, mi micro steel fibers, and 1.5% in volume of uh, macro fibers. So they have a different length and diameter as well. With respect to FA0, we reduce the content of cement by substituting uh, in FA20, 20% 20, 20 of cement with fly ash. In FA50, the 50% 50 of the cement is replaced, is replaced by fly ash. And uh, FA70, 70% 70 of uh, cement is substituted by uh, by fly ash. So in practice, we analyze these four, uh, four types of, uh, of UHPC. So, uh, and we use these materials to create a jacket for reinforcing existing columns. In this case, we have a, a prototype of column, uh, which is a, a concrete core. So uh, we 
defined a concrete core of uh, simulating an existing column. Uh, the compressive strength is 40, about 45 megapascal, and here you have the composition of this concrete core. So we use a, a formwork to create the jacket with UHPC. So the concrete core is uh, 100 millimeter in diameter, and uh, D8 is 200, uh, 200 millimeter. So <clears throat> uh, we uh, cast, uh, this is the casting procedure for having the, the, uh, the column jacketed by the UHPC. First, we uh, cast the cores, then after two days, uh, we remove the mold, and in the 10th days, uh, we uh, created the uh, jacket. We, for two days, the jacket we, uh, has been put in a, uh, in a chamber with steam curing, and for from, the, uh, from uh, 14 to, to 28, uh, day uh, we have this curing in normal uh, condition. At 28 day we tested in compression. So, uh, what is the the goal? Is to uh, vary the type of UHPC from uh, FA0 to FA70. And of course, the thickness of this U, uh, of this jacket, uh, with the aim of having the uh, best performances. What does it mean, the best performances? Not only the mechanical performances, but we would like also to achieve the best environmental uh, performances. So for this reason, we <clears throat> we tested uh, 11 types or 11 combination of the FA uh, from 0 to 70 and the thickness from 25 millimeter to 75 millimeter. In total, we tested in compression 33 uh, specimens like the, the one you have reported in, the, in this picture. <clears throat> so uh, here you have some uh, uh, some uh, uh, pictures uh, regarding the the uh, uniaxial compression test. Uh, the first one on the left is the unconfined core, and the one uh, the last one is the confined uh, with the UHPC. Here you have some uh, results. Uh, we have the relative stress with uh, respect to the strength of the core versus the strain uh, in, uh, uh, in compression. So the thickness of the jacket is constant, and here you have the results by varying the type of the uh, UHPC. As you can see in the red one, we have the unconfined. And then in the other cases, we have the confined with uh, UHPC. As you can see, uh, uh, due to the confinement, we have an increment of strength, the compressive strength of the bull uh, specimen, and also the peak or the strain at which we have the strength is increasing with respect to plain concrete. Of course, the Thicker line here is FA20, zero. the, uh, the uh, UHPC without any substitution. If we increase the substitution, of course, the performances of the UHPC is decreasing and the, the compressive strength of the, uh, of the bull column jacketed by UHPC is decreasing as well. So, if we report the compressive strength, the total compressive strength uh, in this diagram, uh, on, the, uh, on the abscissa we have the thickness of the jacket, we can find such a kind of linear relationship uh, between the 
maximum stress, so the strength, and the thickness, starting from a fixed value of the strength of the core. In this linear relationship, the slope, S, is a function, a linear function, of the substitution rate. So, what does it mean? That if we want to increase the mechanical performances for a, a given UHPC, we have to increase the thickness. If we want to increase the mechanical performances for a given thickness, we have to reduce as much as possible the, <coughs> the substitution of uh, cement with uh, fly ash. So we expected these results. And we also expected the ecological performances uh, that we measured according to the environmental impact uh, or unit impact uh, of the component of UHPC. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the carbon footprint for producing the material <coughs> increases if we increase the thickness with a fixed UHPC. For a given thickness, we reduce the impact if we increase the substitution rate of <coughs> uh, cement with fly ash. In a few words, we have the opposite results with respect to the mechanical performances. So we increase the performances if we increase the thickness and reduce the substitution rate. But if we do this, we increase the environmental impact. So how can we define the best material with the best thickness for this type of application? Um, for selecting the best TI, thickness of the jacket, and the best rate of substitution, we introduce this, this procedure. The input, as you know, is the strength of the core, the existing structure, the strength of the existing structure, and uh, also the strength that we would like to read. Okay, I will be finished soon. Okay, and the strength of... Uh, 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 of the uh, bull column that we would like to reach. So we start without any substitution, then we fix a, a substitution, we evaluate the slope of the linear relationship, then from the linear relationship we define the thickness. So <clears throat> we compute the volume of the jacket, the global emission, and then we repeat this procedure up to the complete substitution. Among all the data we obtained, we select the minimum value uh, or the thickness corresponding to the minimum amount of CO2. So if you, you, you can see here some of the results. So uh, for instance, if we consider this line related to the maximum strength of 70 megapascal that we would like to reach, as we replace the cement, we need a different thickness thickness, but we have a different amount of CO2. So as you can see, the minimum, which is reached also in the other situation, is around the 50% of substitution of cement with fly ash. So these are the uh, conclusion of, uh, of our work. Uh, in practice, we found a linear relationship between the thickness of the jacket and the compressive strength of the bull uh, column, so the core with the jacket. Uh, both the strength and the impact of the, uh, of the column uh, increase if, if we increase the thickness and we decrease the uh, content of, of fly ash. So, we defined a procedure in order to define the best UHPC and the thickness as well. So in uh, all the analysis we performed, we found that uh, the best 
substitution rate is around 50%. So this is my, the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.